everyone! In this video, I'd like to take a look at how you would predict the product for an ozonolysis reaction. So first, let's get the pieces that are involved in ozonolysis. So in the first case here, we've got an alkene. So remember, an alkene is where you have a double bond between two carbons. And we're going to be reacting that with ozone at negative 78 degrees Celsius, and follow that up by reacting it with either dimethyl sulfide or zinc and acetic acid. And when we run these reactions, we wind up getting a ketone or an aldehyde as our product. So let's just talk through what's happening and how we would predict this. So over here we have our alkene, and in the very first step we're reacting with ozone, so that's O3, at negative 78. The reason that a lot of reactions in organic chemistry that need to run cold run at negative 78 is because it's a really convenient temperature, because if you mix acetone with dry ice, you are at negative 78 degrees Celsius, which is pretty convenient in the lab. Now, the result of this will be the formation of something called ozonide. So you're going to for first form malozonide, and then that immediately converts to ozonide. Now, ozonide on its own is pretty explosive, so we're not going to isolate it. Instead, what happens is we have the second component here, so either the dimethyl sulfide or the zinc in acetic acid, and one of those two is going to react with that ozonide that we formed to immediately convert it into our final product, which is a ketone or an aldehyde. So now when you're thinking about product predictions, essentially what you're going to be doing is you're basically going to cut down that double bond, and on either end you're going to cap an O on to the end of it. To see what I mean, let's take a look at an example. Okay, so let's take a look at our example. So if we look over here at our reactant, we see that we have our alkene. Now something really important to note about that alkene is that it is a diene, meaning it has two carbon-carbon double bonds in it, and both of them will undergo ozonolysis. So let's say, for example, that there was a third carbon-carbon double bond in there, that would also undergo ozonolysis. So now what I'm going to do to help myself predict the product is to take these double bonds and I'm going to cut them in half. Okay. So essentially what I'm saying is, is that you're going to cut each of those double bonds down in the middle so that you're kind of wanting to pull them apart and separate them, which is what this drawing here is supposed to be illustrating. I've taken this, I've separated, cutting down the middle of those double bonds, and I've redrawn it now with a gap between the two. So that's the first start in your product prediction. The next thing you're going to do is put an O at the end cap of each one of those double bonds there and there. And that's how you're showing you've made a ketone or an aldehyde. And that's pretty much how you predict product for ozonolysis.